Perhaps one of the most well-known musical styles to come out of the early 2010s was this. Vaporwave. If you saw a thumbnail with some VHS video clip, perhaps an animation loop from an anime or titles with a space between every letter, you were in for a languid, surrealistic electronic experience with samples from 80s or 90s songs slowed down to the breaking point. These lo-fi aesthetic soundscapes reimagined an era of music for the present and in doing so smuggled in a fascinating question that I struggle with today. Can you be nostalgic for a time that never existed? Vaporwave was actually a subgenre of music born out of a British style called hauntology, which appeared in the mid-2000s. That style used old films, library music, and TV soundtracks melded with antique synthesizer tones and found sounds to build repetitious musical tracks. But the style itself had a deeper, melancholic meaning behind it. According to writer and critical theorist Mark Fisher, hauntology had a clear cultural purpose. When cultural innovation has stalled and even gone backwards, one function of hauntology is to keep insisting that there are futures beyond postmodernity's terminal time. When the present has given up on the future, we must listen for the relics of the future in the unactivated potentials of the past. These relics of an unactivated future are obvious in Vaporwave. The synthesizers and electronic beats of the 80s, once seen as the sounds of a promising future, are revived in new roles, reanimated for those who remember their previous visions of what could be. Perhaps it's in that same spirit that I put the Smash Brothers on DVD one last time. The anachronistic vision of a doc which originally came out on YouTube, sitting on a shelf pretending it's from a far simpler and naive time, is a remix on nostalgia itself. A melding of two different timelines to create a completely new one. One in which there's DVD menu music to fall asleep to after finishing PC Chris's episode. And watching KDJ flying off stage is possible, even if the internet goes out. In the future, I doubt I'll put any of my projects on a disc, but the Smash Brothers is tailor-made to break the timeline and mingle in that weird space of confabulated nostalgia. If you want one, there's a Kickstarter going on right now. And only for a few more days, because I had a bunch of other shit I had to do and couldn't get to this video until now. But I'm sure I'll have some left over along with the remaining metagame DVDs on my webpage. Itself a relic of a bygone era, where not everything was hyper-centralized around social media. And if you're lucky, you may be able to snag one of the six remaining documentary hats created by the ever-talented Smasher Magazine, the guy who does Melee remixes. He's an incredibly talented guy, and you absolutely should go to him for any embroidery projects you need. Shoutouts to you, bro. And so, in conclusion, the first two references on the Vaporwave wiki are a link to bisexual lighting and criticism of capitalism, and I think that sums up Vaporwave perfectly. <laughs>